And now you will witness the fully operational power system. No, I'm just kidding. Ball Jedis are cool. Mace Windu representing with the purple lightsaber. Um, anyway, just figured I'd do another video. It's been a while. Uh, first, I, I just want to give a shout out um, to, you know, Soccer Chick, Headphone Jock, Wicked Praise, Fluff Daddy, Eastside Deli. Uh, you guys have pretty much been uh, pretty regular contact with me, so I appreciate that. That's really cool. Um, also, anybody who I see around campus, uh, unfortunately, I don't know everybody's faces, so I do have people that see me around campus just to say what's up, and I appreciate that, too. That's really cool. So thank you again. So the month of... Uh, Production modeling and scripting has ended, and I had my first day of rigging, which I'll get into next. Uh, dramatic turnaround uh, with the way that I feel about certain things. Um, in production modeling, PRM, ProMod, uh, at first I was a little apprehensive because I don't know what it is about Maya, but whenever I get in front of Maya and I need to model something, I'm like, Duh. I don't know where to go next. It's really, um, it's a little on the technical side, which is cool, but... Um, I don't know, for some reason I have like a phobia. I have a Maya phobia. So like uh, once I get the ball rolling, it, it turns out pretty good. So my hard service model uh, turned out pretty good for the first half of class. The second half of class uh, was all about ZBrush and it was organic modeling. And I like that so much better. So like they're really, um, I, I made the video prior to us really diving into ZBrush. So um, I was still a little apprehensive. Uh, it turns out at the end of the class, uh, I really felt okay with it. My modeling skills are average, but I felt pretty good about ZBrush. Uh, organic modeling uh, is pretty sweet. Uh, another thing that we learned in that class, actually, the course director for that, or the teacher or instructor in general, uh, really awesome guy. I mean, he has a lot of industry experience, um, so he gives us he gives it to us straight. Um, he'll tell us not only, I mean, are we getting modeling aspects of what we should expect, but he also gives us like. Uh, life lessons. And I know it sounds kind of corny, but they're actually really important. And it's it's really cool of him to do this because not many teachers really do this. Um, but he tells, uh, he explains to you how, uh, how to set up an Excel spreadsheet of all the companies that you want to work for. So by the time you get done with your demo reel, you'll be able to send them out and keep track and stuff like that. Uh, another thing too is... Um, He's big on uh, on calendars, and I've been using a calendar since I came to school because actually, believe it or not, um, Tim, who's the, the instructor for the class, told us in my orientation about the calendar stuff, and um, I took that then, and he explains it again inside of this class. So um, the calendars are really important because of the deadlines that we have to meet here in class, and, and also just, you know, in general, I mean, you could just base your whole life around it, and it's very structured, and, and to be honest, if you're going to come here or you're thinking of of coming here, you're going to need it. It's very important. He's also a big avid person about the hour a day that I explained before, about find an hour a day uh, to do whatever it is that you want to do or whatever you want to get better at and just refine your skills. So yeah, so that's that's that class. Scripting was pretty cool too. Um, the course director for scripting, awesome, again. Um, so actually, you know, to be honest, it's two months in a row that I both classes I actually ended up really enjoying and getting something out of, which is cool. Um, <laughs> it's expected. Um, but anyway, um, his he, his class was very cool too. So you're learning Python, which is like a universal language. You can, it pretty much wraps around any other language, and um, it, it's a pretty powerful tool. So uh, at the end there, the final, it takes us through all the basics of, of, of scripting in Python, but then at the end we have to build um, a keyframer, and then in the keyframer you also have to integrate uh, an attribute editor that you create and also a renamer that you create. Now, obviously a renamer is already embedded into Maya, but to build one on your own makes you feel like a really cool person, so that, that's really cool too. So both classes, pretty good. This month, uh, we have rigging, character rigging. Ken, who's the teacher for um, our CRI, which is character rigging, um, really awesome. Actually, the way that the class is set up is you learn through, obviously, his lectures, but on his lectures, he goes over exactly what you're going to be doing in lab and whatever your skills tests are. I'm not going to go over like how the class is broken down as far as to um, you know percentages and, and whatnot, but um, you basically have skills tests, and once you pass all the skills tests, you can move on to your final. So the quicker the quicker the more quickly you finish the skills test, you'll be able to move on to your final. Ken, who is the teacher for rigging, makes it extremely easy. So like, well, the work isn't easy, but he, he puts it together easily so that you can understand it. Uh, it's all video podcasts. So all your skills tests and also other information is available via podcast and uh, at your disposal. So you can work fast, you can work slow, but the quicker you work and the more diligent that you are about getting it out of the way, the quicker you can move on to your final. And I heard the final through the grapevine here at school that the final is 
boss like it it'll kick your ass like people are up you know over 36 hours at a clip because they need to get a lot of work done so it's only one class this month so that's pretty cool too which means double the amount of time of ken but he makes it a pretty interesting uh pretty interesting experience so you know i'm looking forward to that that's all it's about to storm here so before i go on to other things that is exactly what i'm going to be doing for this whole month long so i'll hit you at the midpoint and i'll hit you at the end and, uh, you know, share my experiences. So I will talk to you all soon. Peace.